Hi friends. Okay, so today's Tuesday and this is your 1.2 place value math lesson that goes with our assignment for today. And today you're going to be looking at place value charts, base 10 blocks, and digit values. So you've got three things you're going to work on. Remember, if you can't remember what these mean, go back to the vocabulary video at the top of this playlist so that you can review. So we're going to be drawing our base 10 blocks. Now, I have a question. How long do you think it would take for me to make a hundreds flat with all those units in it and the ones units and the tens units if I did it so that it was exactly like this? It would take forever. Mathematicians, people who practice math like you and me, we're lazy. We like to be efficient. We like to work smarter, not harder. So mathematicians have a little trick for doing math work that means it won't take a long time. So when I have a number and my directions say draw the base 10 blocks in the place value chart, here's how we do it. I'm going to look at this number, 462. First, I'm going to look at the hundreds. How many hundreds flats am I going to draw? Well, the digit is four. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. And that's it. I don't need to make sure I have 10 rows of 10. I don't need to make sure I have 100 units. I can just draw a really big square. And I would draw four of them because the digit that represents that place value is the four. There's four hundreds. Now, tens. I have six tens. So I'm going to draw six tens rods. The easiest way to do this is to draw lines. That is my tens rod. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of like tally marks, but without crossing over when I get to five. Those are different. So I've got my hundreds flats. I've done my drawing of my six tens rods, and I have two ones units. I can just do a little dot. And I can do two dots for my ones. Super quick and easy. Mathematicians work smarter, not harder. We're lazy. We know it. That's why we make, we're so good at it. Now, I've drawn my place value blocks in my place value chart. I've represented the digits by the pictures. Four hundreds, four hundreds, six tens, six tens, two ones, two ones. When I look at my number, there's a, there's a digit that's underlined. The page that we're practicing today says, what is the value of the underlined digit? Now, in our fall portfolios, you did this exact same activity with a two digit number. Okay, now you've got a third digit in there. You've got to remember, what does that digit represent? The value. So I have the digit six, but what does six mean? What's the value? How much is it worth? Because it's not worth six. It's telling me I have how many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna count by tens to see how much that's worth. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The value of that underlying digit is 60. Okay, let's try another one. I have another number. 381. Okay, same thing. Gonna work smarter, not harder. I'm going to do very simple base 10 block drawings and I'm gonna represent the value in my place value chart. So, how many hundreds flats do I have in this number? Right, three. Here we go. One, two, three. 
Done. How many tens rods do I need to draw? Right, eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. How many ones units am I representing? Just one. One little dot. One, two, three hundred. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. One. 381. The digit in this number that's underlined is the hundreds place. What value, how much is this hundreds place worth? It's worth 100, 200, 300. That value of that digit is 300. Okay? Last example, and then we are going to go get our assignment done today. I have the number 957. How many hundreds? Nine of them. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hundreds. I'm done with my hundreds place. How many tens? Five. Good job. One, two, three, four, five tens. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, I have how many ones? Excellent, seven. I'm gonna do seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine hundreds, five tens, seven ones. 957. The digit underlined in this number is the ones place digit. So I'm going to go to my ones place and I count my ones by ones. I have seven of them. Seven is the value of that digit. It's worth seven. So my friends, we are using our place value blocks, our base 10 blocks. We are going to draw our representation inside of our place value chart. We're going to identify the values of the underlying digits. Remember, the value of the digit changes based on the place. If you need to review that, go back to our vocabulary video at the beginning of this playlist. I'll see you guys tomorrow.